we have the religious side that demands that we not have fun, at least in certain areas, because apparently God frowns on it. It's sinful. It takes us away from the path that God apparently wants us to follow. And we have the other side demanding that we not have fun or have any sense of comedy unless it's at the expense of cultures or demographics that have been deemed oppressive. We must either not contribute to the cultures that have been deemed oppressive, or we have to actively push against those cultures. Otherwise, apparently, we're worse than the people who revel in that type of bigotry. Because we're doing their bidding, but are playing innocent, apparently. And these pressures from both sides build up after a while. We eventually learn why people have negative views about a number of things, you know, rather than just this generalized notion of, no, that's bad, don't do it. They'll usually defend their position by stating something that sounds like they memorized it verbatim. But occasionally they're right. But I'd say that most of the time, they just want to be authoritarian and are using religion or an ideology or mob mentality as an excuse to do it. There seems to be this stupid mindset that's basically saying, well, well, my side is doing it, so it can't be authoritarian. My side wants all these lofty and beautiful things. Yeah, that's nice. Whatever you say, let's just nod and pretend that's, that's all great. Yes, yes, let's pretend how those things could all happen without authoritarianism. Yeah, I'll pass on that kind of feigned ignorance. Neither side being authoritarian is a good idea. Unless they're doing something illegal, no group of people should be forced by the government to lose power or dignity. I don't care how right you think you are. I don't care for what cause that you think an entire group needs to be degraded for. And I'm saddened and rather disappointed that you can't see the oppressive and authoritarian nature of what it is that you want to establish. And yes, this video is talking about both sides. As I've already stated before, I think it's too late for our side to stop what looks like it's coming. And unfortunately, I've seen a lot of people on their side just come right out and say that they're done being tolerant. This isn't a good thing. I wish us the best in this upcoming election. I hope that checks and balances can remain where they're still possible. Thanks for watching. Ooh.